Hello and welcome back to my channel. For this video, I will be teaching you how to macro stronghold. I will put a few required items on the screen as well as replacements. Keep in mind, this is heavily exclusive to late or endgame since it requires a lot of items that deal a lot of damage and are hard to obtain, such as summons and event items. Anyways, let's get started. First things first, I like to minimize the browser so I can actually click join and a, and a Roblox client won't go under the browser, just so you can prioritize the Roblox client being tabbed instead of being under the browser. That way you can actually play the game instead of just clicking on the browser. Then I like to click join two or three times because sometimes when you're tabbed out, it takes more than one click to actually click join. So after I click join, you gotta wait a few seconds, but make sure you spam click the middle of the screen just so you can tab the Roblox screen as a priority. After waiting 10 to 15 seconds after you press join, I'd say start tab summoning all your summons just so you don't die when you teleport, and open chat and say slash skip all or anything anything really and then i like to click on mysterious artifact once and then confirm and then do it again just repeat three times confirm basically three times and click three times on mysterious artifact just so you can confirm yourself into the stronghold without failure Once you teleport it, I'd say spam all your summons repeatedly for a cycle of 3 times, and then wait 5 seconds. After 5 seconds, you can say skip all for about 10 seconds. Say skip all multiple times, just so you can skip all in when you join anyways. This is to confirm that you can actually skip all in the dungeon so nothing goes wrong. After your summons killed every enemy in the first area, wait about 5-10 to 10 seconds after the message appears, and then you're gonna, you want to start moving without moving your camera at all. Make sure to not move your camera or zoom in or zoom out at all. Just make sure you remember the map and press S and then you press D after you go to the certain point. For this run, I kind of messed up here, but you don't want to go this far. You kind of want to go like a little closer to the trees in front of me, but you kind of want to get the controller by moving a straight, well, zigzag line without any curves at all, just so you can kill the enemies there. After the controller dies, you just want to spam resummon every summon you have, repeatedly 2 cycles or 3 cycles I'd say, but once you've done that, you just basically hold out Voice and Tari and kill all the Equinox Constructs, or Sonata Constructs, and wait until you get teleported. Once, once you see proceed to the next area, that's when you spam all summons again and again until you actually teleport, and then you keep doing it until you actually get teleported there, and wait a few seconds while repeating doing it just in case it's slower for other runs. Once you get teleported, you want to spam resummon everything, and then the summons will do all the work. But I like to help by holding out Void Centauri and using it on the Praetor, but Eternal Winter is the whole reason the Praetor is able to take this much damage. So make sure you take damage at least, so don't iframe for this one. And then after you get teleported to the hallway, you gotta wait like 5-10 seconds, resummon everything, and spam Void Centauri. And once you get to the middle, you want to resummon everything again, and then you're gonna wait it out until you take a few damage and you're gonna iframe after controller spawn. Don't worry if you're almost dead, you can iframe if you're almost dead though, but you have a mirror with you so you should survive a lot better than uh, most runs. Once the controller spawn, you want to resummon everything just so the summons can get in place to attack them, and hold out voice and Tari as well as spam it. Once both controllers are dead, you want to hold D and spam jump. Make sure to uh, hold D for a certain amount of time before letting go and holding D again, just so you can move after you die. This is so you can get to the Arbiter no matter what, and also move after you die from Al Rasid. But after the controllers die, you want to spam Voice and Tari, and then after a few seconds, you want to spam all summons. And for the Al Rasid fight, you're going to spam a lot of summons.
right when you see the something from the storage room message from the chat, you want to spam all your summons and resummon everything again and again. And don't use Void and Centauri until you resummon everything multiple times, just in case anything happens. You might die a few times, but make sure you let go of D and then hold it again while spam jumping again as well. And resummon everything again and again every like 5 seconds or so. And then you can switch to voice and target to do some extra DPS. For iframes, you can iframe between Blade Z and uh, Shield and the God Slayer armor. You can uh, cycle through those iframes and then that should make you almost invincible the entire fight. Making you invulnerable. Once the Arbiter spawns, you want to just do the same thing again, just keep moving with D and jump. And then you also want to iframe him again and again, as well as spam summons too. Just make sure you spam more summons than usual, since it's the Arb area, like the time frame for the Arb. Usually when you want to spam all the summons possible as well as the iframes, so you can survive while damaging Arb at the same time. For the final part of the tutorial, you basically want to wait until you get to Gilgamesh after you kill the Arbiter and Arasid. You basically wait till you get Gilgamesh and then you repeat the same thing. Make sure you remember your key binds. So you repeat the same thing, keep moving and keep summoning even while teleporting, even when you can't see, until Gilgamesh spawns usually. And then that's when you leave the game and stop the map, stop the recording, and then you can repeat the macro. So right now I'll show you how I use the macro and how my macro works. I'm not going to do anything right now, but my macro is going to do everything. My macro repeats the same steps as what I said, but I'll probably just speed, I'll probably like make a time lapse of the macro and show like how many runs it took to and how many successful runs. So I'll just make a time lapse right now.
So the macro works 100% of the time if nothing interferes, like no external problems from your PC or any chat bugs, then it works 100% of the time. But the only issue is that it's like about a little slower than the average stronghold run. It's about 8, eight to uh, 10 minutes runs, maybe 7 to 10 minutes depending on how fast you can do it. I'd say 8 is the safe spot because that's when you can mostly do successful runs without having to worry about anything. But if you do 8 runs, 8 runs uh, every... Well, if you do one run every eight minutes, then that would actually be like, I think it's going to be like 96 runs every 12 hours, which is actually a high chance. I think it's going to be like a, it's actually a really, really high chance if you think about it, because it's actually very easy to get ARB if you just AFK an entire week. However, I did not get ARB after AFK an entire week. So I guess you, I guess you can uh, take that against me. I guess it's just my luck being horrible. But you guys can probably try getting ARB as well. I'm probably going to keep going for ARB until I actually get it. Because the macro works 100% of the time. Uh, I'll put timestamps in the video. And I guess that's all for the video. And thank you and bye.